Welcome to On The Spectrum, and I'm your host, Terry Matthews. This is the show where we like to inform you, entertain you, and definitely encourage you about all things autism. So today on our show, which every Tuesday we have, is a do-it-yourself project where we like to bring the creative genius out in you right out there at home. Joining me today is Stephanie Graff, 17 years experience dealing with people on the spectrum, and we're gonna make some cool things called like eye pillows. Have you ever heard of this? Cause I haven't. So hi, Stephanie. Hi, Terry. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. Now, I, I was looking at all this stuff we had here on the counter and I'm going, an eye pillow? Like, yes. what the heck is an so eye pillow? So we're bringing the spa to our kids and bringing the spa to you. So oh, I, I can use a day at the spa, almost every day. So super easy to make. It's really just three ingredients. Um, we can pick a sock, your choice, your preference. Right here we have character socks or we can use adult socks and there's always a spare socks in somebody's sock drawer. All, so. all the time. I mean, as moms out there, you already know that we always go in the dryer with two socks and we come out with one. There's a sock monster somewhere. There is. And so then, a great way to repurpose socks. Yes, yeah, a great way to repurpose. And then we use something to fill the socks with. So I've chosen beans. I like beans because they're smooth and they, some people use flaxseed or rice, but that can poke through the material. Oh, so yeah. I find this to be a little bit better. And then I this also like it because it's heavy. And to put that weight on your eyes is so therapeutic. So what's this stuff right here? So these are essential oils. We are adding a scent because the sense of smell is a wonderful pathway to the brain. And it arouses mm. emotions and memories and it has a big calming um, effect if you use scents like chamomile or lavender. Are there any scents that we should kind of stay away from? For uh, our peppermint is um, energizing. So if you're not trying to <laughs> energize your child, and that might save that for mom, okay. dad, caregiver. But um, chamomile is lovely, lavender, and it taps right into those emotion centers. So okay. it really helps to soothe. Hmm. And But if you don't have access to the oils, because they can be quite pricey, I have found that I like tea bags. They so smell good. They're great. So peppermint tea, lavender tea, uh, chamomile tea all work just as well. They're, they don't last as long, but we can just put them into a resealable bag to hold onto the integrity of them. So let's see scent. how hard is it to make They're these. They're super so easy. So we have these beans. We're going to take a sock. Yep. So either A, if you have cool socks, leftover socks, the monster dryer has eaten the sock, you can take that leftover sock. Instead of tossing it, right. I use it to clean up sometimes. Yeah, no. What a great <laughs> you idea. can fill this with beans, right? Yep. So we, you would put this essential oil on yes. the beans if first. If you chose to do the um, essential oil, mm -hmm. I think we can do that. That, what one do you want to go with today? I don't know. Let's, I need energy. Peppermint. Peppermint. Very strong. When Jaden gets home, we'll do chamomile for him. Yes, very <laughs> strong. So you just add only a couple drops because it's pretty intense. Do you marinate the beans? Like, do they stay overnight? Or you no, just... simple, easy. Okay. Mix them up with your hand or spoon if you'd rather. Smell your fingers. <laughs> okay. okay. And then you're going to fill up your sock. I think a cup is good because these are for little heads. So you okay. kind of want to gauge... I would do a little bit more. Okay, let's see. So this is a two-man project. You can do this with your kids. Yep, exactly. And then you're gonna tie a knot. Okay, like this? Yep, so your character face is still showing. So I think that this is perfect. Smell. Oh and my gosh, this is wonderful. You can build into a routine of relaxation Ooh. into your child's day. So it might this be a bedtime routine. It might be something you do at school. I make these with my students in yoga class and when I do physical therapy in the schools. And we all lay there and just relax for one minute with our eye pillows. So with these, with these eye pillows, um, I heard you say that you could refrigerate these as well, right? Yeah, so, so the peppermint one, so the adult one I like to utilize uh, for the spa effect. So we can put this into a resealable bag, okay. pop it into the freezer for an hour. It comes out, it's nice and cool and so wonderful. And you have the beautiful aroma of the peppermint after a very difficult day. After a stressful day, it's a wonderful tool for a caregiver. <laughs> <laughs> I love these. So these are really awesome and very inexpensive to make. And you yes. can do it right in your own home yes. or with all of these different supplies. I think everybody has beans in their closet, yes. right? Yes, definitely. Thank you so much, Thank Stephanie, you for, for this me. awesome eye pillow uh, do-it-yourself project at home. I can't wait to make these. Yes, I love they're this very fun. smell. Mm, this is good. So if you're interested in doing this project, you can log on to www.terrymatthewsonline.com, click on the spectrum. There's a do-it-yourself guide where it gives you step-by-step -step instructions where you can try this lovely project right in the comfort of your home. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time on the spectrum. So.